Hello, everyone, and welcome to the second segment of President's Corner. In the first segment, I provided you with an update on the progress of our MOU. And shortly after that, our Director of Public Affairs, Blake Tejoli, provided you with a briefing of what an MOU is. Today, I'm happy to report that there's been further progress made on the MOU. December 14, 2017 was a good day. It was a great day for the Midi Settlements of Alberta. On December 14, 2017, we signed off on that historic document, the MOU. It was signed off at the Government House in Ottawa with the Honourable Minister, Carolyn Bennett. I was asked a question in regards to what does it mean signing off on that MOU? Well, it means that Canada recognizes and acknowledges that the Métis Settlements General Council is the political governing body of the eight Métis Settlements. It means that Canada recognizes and acknowledges that the Métis Settlements General Council is the only body that can speak on, for, or negotiate on behalf of the Métis Settlements of Alberta. It also means that Canada recognizes and acknowledges that any discussions with the Métis Settlements in regards to reconciliation and Section 35 rights must be done with the Métis Settlements General Council. It also means that we have not only established a relationship with Canada, but we've cemented that relationship with Canada with the signing of that historic document on December 14, 2017. It also means that Canada and the Métis Settlements General Council recognize and acknowledge that it was a great step, but that it is only step one in the process. We recognize and acknowledge that there is still much work to be done. The next step in the process is the development of the framework agreement. And we have given ourselves a very ambitious timeline of four months to complete that framework agreement. But I am very optimistic that we can meet those timelines due to all the work that we've done throughout the year. The Métis Settlements Health Board has completed a, a health assessment on all eight settlements, the first time that this has ever been done on the Métis Settlements. We've conducted an education review. We've completed an infrastructure assessment on all eight settlements. We've established an economic development board. We've set up a harvesting committee. We've set up a consultation committee. We've set up a climate change committee. So you can see with all the work that we've done throughout the year, yes, I'm very optimistic that we can meet those timelines. So there is much, much work to be done. It also means that the Minister Carolyn Bennett has honored her commitment. On January 30th, 2017, when we met with her, she committed to a separate bilateral process with the Métis Settlements General Council. With the signing of that historic document on December 14, 2017, Minister Bennett has fulfilled or has honored her commitment. With that, I would like to thank Minister Bennett and all her staff for the great work that they did in helping to develop and sign off on that MOU. I'd also like to say thank you to the Métis Settlements General Council leadership, the past and present. A special thank you goes out to the chairpersons, the board of directors of the Métis Settlements General Council for all the hard work that they put in throughout the year in developing that MOU. Einer Gauthier, Howard Shaw, Horace Patino, Floyd Thompson, Perry Caronto, Harry Supino, Drake Calio, and Irene Zimmer. So a big thank you to them. And like everything else, there's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes. And so I would like to thank the Beatty Settlements General Council staff for all the work that they've done. And a special thank you goes out to Blake Desley, our Director of Public Affairs, and Jacqueline Bellrose, our lead research person, for all the work that they've done. I'd also like to thank the elders, the youth, and all the members that participated when we had our community engagement sessions and also the ones that participated in the Métis Settlements Strategic Summit. For it is that input you provided 
and the direction that you gave us that formed the basis of the MOU and will also form the basis of the framework agreement. So I want to thank all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In closing, I would like to wish you on behalf of my family and myself a very, very Merry Christmas and a very prosperous New Year. May the Creator bless you with joy, happiness, love, and health throughout the Christmas holidays and into the New Year. Until next time, hi hi. It is a great honor for me to be able to sign off on this historic document on behalf of the members of the eight community settlements of Alberta. The signing of this MOU means that we can now set our path in regards to reconciliation and identifying and implementing our Section 35 rights. It also means that it now puts us on par with access and programs and services on par with other Indigenous groups. So it is a great honour for me to sign off on this for the membership and uh, look forward to continued work and uh, working on the framework agreement.